Welcome to Crude Tube. I'm Captain Crude. The NFL is rigged. I don't have to tell you that. Let's talk about Russell Wilson signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers for $1.2 million. Like a little, little tiny blip of what the Broncos owe Wilson for dumping him. Which is very, very bizarre. You think about that. All that money was guaranteed to Wilson by the Broncos. They release him. He goes to the Steelers for a million bucks. But Wilson's still going to make roughly $40 million this year. Because the Broncos got to pay, I don't know, $38 million or so out to Wilson. So why does this qualify as the NFL being rigged. Why did Wilson get such a huge contract from the Broncos to begin with? And why did they unload him? Which is just still very strange. When Wilson went to the Broncos, basically what was happening, they had to pick up the pieces of that team because they haven't done anything noteworthy since like Peyton Manning won the Super Bowl with them like how many years ago. So they bring in Russell Wilson, and uh, he doesn't do anything, or they don't really have an offense, and whatever, we don't really care. Then they figure, oh, let's bring in uh, Sean Payton to coach the team, because he coached, you know, a, a hump like uh, Drew Brees to a Super Bowl title, but we all know what that was about. He couldn't do anything with Wilson. Now Wilson's on the Steelers. His third time a charm. Do the Steelers actually go anywhere? Or do they get their usual 9 to 10 wins a season? You know, making head coach Mike Tomlin look like a solid Hall of Fame candidate eventually as a coach? Who really knows? But I just think it's very strange a team gives... $38 $38 million to a player not playing anymore, and then the the player signs for a million bucks with another team. That just doesn't it just doesn't sit right with me. You you think about that a second. Imagine you left your job, or you got fired from your job, and you went to the and you got fired uh unceremoniously and they owed you money and you went somewhere else, and that company was still paying you money. The company that fired you still had to pay you. That doesn't happen in real life. You know, this happens to wealthy people. This is wealthy people problems, not normal people problems. You can't normalize this. A million bucks in the NFL is chump change, but a million bucks a year to a normal person is life changing. You got to think about that. That's how the NFL is rigged. They're trying to normalize this kind of bullshit into, oh, this is a, a just an average news story. And look, Russell Wilson's still going to make his $40 million a year. Who really fucking cares at this point? That $40 million bucks comes off the backs of all of those Broncos fans and everybody who watches on TV and buys the products they advertise on TV. But basically, Wilson going to the Steelers is... It makes perfect sense. Why? Because Wilson is now going to face good old Lamar Jackson twice a year. So just like the old days when it was Flacco against uh, Ben Raplisberger, now you're going to have Lamar Jackson against Russell Wilson. Good old Roger Goodell is going to be his, you know, usual promoter. He's going to promote the hell out of those games. I guarantee one's going to be a Sunday night game and the other one's going to be a Monday night game or Thursday, something like that. They're going to put him on prime time. And that is the reason why Russell Wilson went to the Steelers. So there's my video. And uh, that was just a little tidbit of the NFL. Not much going on, but I thought I had to talk about that. So until I see you next time, peace. Cheers.